Hello, this is Drew the Driver with Riding to Cash. I am uh, happy to talk to you about a topic that apparently some new scooter chargers uh, are not fully aware of, um, the concept of hoarding. It's a term that's been coined in the context of the scooter charging community from someone who has chosen to go out and collect a lot of scooters without scanning them and then hiding them in, in their vehicle, their garage, their house, or where have you. And uh, you can see on the map that there is a lot of scooters pinged in this particular location. That is in essence what hoarding is. It's when someone chooses to go and get scooters when they're not available, bring them to their home, and for someone who's a charger who's doing that, they're essentially going to hoard it, hold it, and wait until the value goes up from just simply waiting or being pinged as lost multiple times. Uh, that will increase the value from the base price of $5 to potentially as high as $20. And uh, then they, to, for it to be a hoarder situation where it makes sense for them as a hoarder, is they let the value go up and then they, uh, they scan it themselves. So I uh, recently met up with a new charger in a, a new scooter charger in San Diego and because he added a comment on my page and he's like, hey man, I live in the area. Any chance you can meet up and, and show me the ropes? And so I gladly accepted. I met him up, met up with him and he said, oh yeah, I've got some scooters here. You can capture them. I'm like, um, wait, you have, and at this point it's like midnight. So you have uncaptured scooters He's like, yeah, 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 I'm just waiting till they go up in price. I'm like, oh, you're hoarding. And he's like, oh, what's that? He was unaware of what uh, a scooter, the term hoarding is. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Anyone who's new or anyone who's a seasoned scooter charger who's been doing it for months, uh, well, if you've been doing it for months, you know exactly what it is. So primarily for the new people, uh, if you just joined on, joined on, bird it's unlikely that you would do this for lime because for the limes that has a pretty aggressive beep 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 noise where you kind of can't hoard a lime and they're gps based so it's, it, you just can't but in the context of birds there's many many types of birds scooters and multiple versions of them are bluetooth based tracking which means unless you've just scanned it or like ping it with the phone it will not update the location so uh, if you have an iOS iPhone those things are like almost always just like pinging back and forth so the, anytime you open the app on an iPhone it's gonna update that scooter where it is ASAP uh, if you have a uh, Android phone it doesn't do the same kind of like fast update but overall some people to be to what hoarding is is you're going out you're getting scooters and you're hiding them and you're taking them off the map, and then the map is left with a bunch of ghost scooters, which uh, make it really difficult for a charger to differentiate what is what. Uh, as a charger, in essence, the best way to know whether it might be there or not is to ignore the red ones, uh, most of the yellow ones, like they have colors for the scooters, and uh, just check when the last updated location is, and then also when's the last ride. If the ride was like, a month ago, pretty unlikely it's gonna be there. And if the, the location updated hours ago, but it was three days, four days since the last ride, also a pretty good chance it's not gonna be there. Because, possibly, someone took it off the map, brought it into a house, and is hoarding it, and it's not updating the, the Bluetooth location. So, hoarding is not cool, and something that can get you banned from the service if you're a charger. Uh, or in trouble uh, if bird or the scooter companies choose to go after people who are essentially holding on to property that does not belong to them. I don't know the extent of that. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but uh, essentially if you're a new charger, don't do it. Don't hoard scooters. Don't cheat the system. Don't try to boast your income by being lazy. It's not fair to the rest of us and it's not really worth it if you're in a saturated market like San Diego. Uh, you can find a ton of scooters right at nine and you can sometimes get lucky and find them after midnight as well uh, I get pretty lucky just tonight. I started at like 233 
and I still got like 80 bucks worth of scooters in like an hour, which was pretty cool. Same kind of thing happened the night before because these last two nights I've been hanging out with some friends and waiting till basically utilizing social time and then working really late. Um, prior days, I started as early as 11 and uh, made pretty good money. You know, three times the numbers of what I made tonight. But uh, yeah, don't hoard, it's not worth it. Just avoid it altogether. And uh, once again, thank you for watching these videos. Hopefully this has been helpful. This one's a little more rambling, but I think you can get the value from it. Um, and please like the video, share the video, tell your friends and subscribe to the channel because every new person that subscribes and watches, is uh, it just feels good to be able to help someone through this, this creating value in the content. Um, and I'm glad I'm helping people because I've gotten lots of comments and messages from people saying that I am, and it feels good.